Welcome back everyone to another video. I got some really surprising news. I actually got a wide body kit for the BMW E46. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of background, um, it is, it's, it's a rep kit. It's a rep kit of the Panda wide body kit. Um, so I'm actually pretty curious on how the fitment is going to be for the BMW. I got the kit like a couple, few days ago and I've been waiting, waiting because I've been busy with school and work and finally got a day off and going to try and put it together. Guys, I'm actually really excited for this. This is my first wide body car that I'm ever doing and I'm really, really, really excited. Let's get this done. Okay, so far I went ahead and removed the rear uh, the rear over fenders uh, for the kit. This is going to be the front splitter. Those are going to be the front um, over, over fenders. So I'm actually really excited to see how this uh, splitter looks. And okay, so I have the splitter right here. So let's go ahead and take it apart and see. Two hours later. Fellas, about look at this, I am super, super excited. Like, it already has the holes to where to mount the splitters and where to drill the holes and where to mount to the bumper. So I'm super excited. Like, it looks, good. It looks super clean. This test fit fitted the front splitter. And guys, this looks super, super clean. Like, it's gonna go really, really well with the car. Okay, so I unboxed all the, the body kit pieces. So we have the front over fenders with the, that would go on the front bumper the front splitter, the rear over fenders, and I'm actually really excited guys. Like I've tested a couple of the pieces like the rear quarter plant, the rear over fenders, the front splitter and um, the fronts. It actually looks really well. I do have to make some minor adjustments to make it fit a lot more snug. Again, this is mainly for the M3s. Uh, mine's an E46, so I have to make some adjustments to make it fit properly, but I'm excited. I haven't seen anyone on YouTube do anything like what I'm doing right now. Just to give you guys some background, I've been eyeing this kit on I I've been eyeing this kit for about a few months, and it the price was just a little too high. It was like roughly around uh, twelve hundred dollars. And yes, the kit I got it is from eBay, but it is uh it is a rep kit for a Panda wide body kit for the BMW M3s. So I wanted to give it a shot. It looks really good. It looks really clean. And it was pretty affordable compared to $3,000. Um, so the, I've been eyeing this kit for about a few months. And then recently, right after New Year's, I see it drop with a best offer. I'm like, okay. So one night, I was like, let me just give it a shot and see what happens. So I put in an offer for $500. And next thing I know in the morning, I look at my phone and he accepted the offer. So I was like, buy it now, went, and I had it shipped over here. And now we're gonna go ahead and install it. I've never installed a wide body kit on any car. Um, so if you guys have any comments or any kind of ideas or tips or tricks that I can do to make this fit properly and what other tips I, ha I can do, uh, comment below or message me on Instagram. Uh, I'm gonna put the Instagram right over, he right over here. So yeah. Um, I feel like I wanna start with this front splitter. I feel like that's gonna be the easiest thing to tackle. Uh, so keep in mind for this E46, I had to get an M front bumper. I Right now, I currently have a stock uh, side skirts. I do have the M3 side skirts coming in. That way, the um, kit, it would actually fit properly. So you got those two, I got that one coming in. So I'm not too exact sure if I'm going to be drilling this kit in just yet. I do want to make sure I drill it properly with the side skirts fitted. So that way I can know where to drill. Cause I don't want to drill right now and then put the side skirts in the, it's not going to fit properly. But I feel like for today, I'm gonna mount the front splitter. I do wanna fix up the exterior of the body kit. Like there are some scratches and marks. I wanna go ahead and get that stuff taken care of so that way whenever everything's all mounted and cut, all I gotta do is just go ahead and wrap it and that's it. There were some imperfections like for this piece right here. This part was chipped off. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of Bondo to sand it down and make it nice and smooth. And then there's some scratches. I just wanna make like right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get that squared away so that it doesn't show within the wrap. 
The front spoiler looks pretty decent. I am gonna go ahead and sand it down really quick and make sure everything's nice and smooth. Okay, so I mounted the front splitter, and oh my god, it looks really, really nice. Uh, what I'm doing now, I'm drilling a couple of holes, uh, and then putting the hardware through it. Again, it doesn't come with any kind of hardware, which is fine. You can go to your hardware store, pick up some hardware for it, uh, but it wasn't bad. Like, two bucks for all these screws, like, four bucks for all these screws. Not bad. I just placed a clamp in the middle, so that, after lining it up, so that way I know everything's lined up whenever I drill the holes. I finished mounting up all the hardware. I did 10 bolts, um, and again, I have a lot of extra left. But just to show you guys from this side, it looks so clean. It looks so good. So for this, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna just be doing a little bit of wet sanding. There is some, uh, it's not smooth just yet. And as you guys can see, there's some indentions right over here, here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that smoothed out with wet sanding. So the front splitter is done. I'm loving that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and focus on applying Bondo where I need to, like uh, one of the ends that's shipped off. And going ahead and sanding it down because there's some dents right here, some marks. I'm gonna go ahead and get all that smoothed out. That way whenever I do the wrap, you don't see any of that and it's gonna look nice and pretty. So I've been using a thousand grit wet sandpaper, been wet sanding this entire piece and all the little grooves that was here is all gone but so far it's coming along again when you guys are doing this do it right where as in like everything is nice and smooth so that way when you put it on the car everything is and it's finished and it looks good you don't want to half-ass the job so i went ahead and sanded all the pieces down i just gotta do apply a little bit of bondo right over here just chip right here and one more right over here Right here, actually. Just gotta get this taken care of, this is dust. This is the one I need to take care of. That way, everything is nice and smooth. That way I can go ahead and wet sand it again afterwards, so that way it's all one piece. And then, once the side screws come in, that's when we're gonna be mounting it to the car, drilling it in, and then cutting the fenders. Okay everyone, so we finished up the Bondo and now we just did a couple coats of primer. This way, when we do wrap the car, it's going to be nice and smooth, it's going to be sticky. But that's going to be it for tonight, we're just going to let this dry up really quick. Um, but that's basically it, and then hopefully by Friday, we're going to be actually mounting it to the car and seeing how it's actually going to turn out. So I'm super excited about that, and again. Uh, we did install the front lip, that's already good to go. So that's basically it for today's video everyone, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Friday we're going to be mounting it to the car, and hopefully we'll start cutting by Friday. Uh, but that's basically it, please, uh, please share, subscribe, and like, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys.